Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again in this cursed estate and we are ready to head out into the curve. We're going to be going for this mission here and activate the three protective wards. We have a pretty interesting team this time around. Um, we're bringing Clint out. He hasn't been out in a little while here. Uh, I think Clint will do a good job. And we're setting him up with the armor piercing setup. So he has plus 15 armor piercing here and I've also given him the Slater Hatchling for the scout chat but also for that 15% armor piercing and that's a pretty good amount 25% right off the bat there is really really nice then we have Joseph Hare here he is going to be our main healer with the nice setup of the bloom for the 20% healing we really don't need his damage at all we might sometimes use his um, attack that blights but mo mainly we're just going to be using uh, his healing abilities and then on top of that we have the silver syringe as well uh, then we've also got Renault who we haven't brought in a while and he is going full on warrior of the sun with the cold cold shoulder giving holy lands damage minus to healing and stress but that's fine uh plus stress uh sorry plus plus speed and plus crit if torch is below 75 uh, above 75 sorry and then the sun as well which is going to give even more speed and crit if torch is above 74 so that's really going to help out with the uh the torch there and i think this is going to be quite nice uh and he's got that plus five crit there on melee skills so i think this is going to be a pretty decent little build for him and then also we have sixth here who's getting a kind of an interesting build actually um because he's got feral cuts that give him double strike uh mixed with the bed of prey we're going with the um the crystalline one that we got from a while ago, uh, as well as the crushed hemlock, essentially meaning that on attack he's going to apply four over four blight, and he's getting plus fifty blight amount um, against stealth and bleeding, which is going to help out quite a lot. Uh, so I think this is going to be a pretty decent setup, and I'm I'm looking forward to. Uh, to messing around with this and seeing exactly how it ends up working out. One thing that I could do, um, and I am very tempted, in fact, do you know what? I'm even more tempted that I'm going to go into, into town here and I'm going to do this now. We're going to go and unlock um, this skill here. Uh, I know that it's bleed, but I think this could work out kind of nicely. So let's grab that. And let's just take off this and put on that. And instead of going with the leap as we normally do, because we're not going with the uh, the stealth build here, uh, we go on embark and we actually put Joseph back here. And we have these two play a sort of game between dancing between each other. And I think this will work out quite nicely um, with the cougar's leap because if we can cause anything to bleed then um we can get a bit of extra damage going as well as giving them a good amount of blight and then if we want to finish something off we can use feral cuts but i think this is going to be a pretty a good little uh good little build here this should hopefully hopefully lead to a good amount of damage and been able to kind of stomp through the curve here uh let's go to our provision screen and uh grab everything we need of course we are carrying the uh the glands here to Activate everything that we need to. We'll bring five of them, six of them, six of them, five, five. Don't think we need loud in them. And again, this could be difficult. One of the main problems we have right now is we don't have any ability to heal, um, heal up bleed or blight. That's definitely something that um, isn't going to be great in certain situations, depending on what enemies you come across, especially if you come across the bigger crab enemies. But I think that we're in an okay position here, and I don't think we should have too much trouble with the amount of bandages and, bandages and anti-venom we brought. We do have a diary entry here from Cell, and this is for uh, Trell, our Revenant, and he says, I think I can empathize with Chasey to a degree. While I don't know much about her circumstance surrounding the power she wields, I can guess the origin of it to a degree. My limited contact throughout the country have uncovered uh, fragments about the elusive Chasey Highstake. From what I know, she faced the Cold War a far, um, a far too young, uh, a far too young age, and was led astray by her greed. Maybe she can't be helped, but I can damn well try. So it looks like he's going to give a lending hand to Chasey in her affliction. So here, because we're activating three uh, protective wards, we just got to kind of travel along and go as many places as we can here. This is exactly the enemy that I was worried about coming across. Um, I think we're going to start here with the double feral cuts because this should both apply blight. Yeah, blight, blight. That's insane. That that's that's really really good. 
That's a very, very good way to start off some damage here. Uh, and we might, I was going to say, we might be able to kill him one hit. Unfortunately, not quite. I think I'm just going to go for the blight on this guy even more so here. Uh, get him up to 12 over 5. And holy lance on you. Okay, one thing I am noticing right now that's a little problematic, or could be a little problematic at least, is we don't have the greatest damage to spot one, honestly. Um, when when Renault is moved up here, we do, but otherwise it's a little difficult. Nice crit there, Renault. <clears throat> very, very nice to see that. Increases his prot. And we just keep stacking the blight on you. Holy hell, 16 over 4. You are getting destroyed, my sir. Destroyed. So, while the blight here isn't going to be super useful, this does move us forward, so I'm going to do this anyways. And it's still going to stack blight, so... Not bad. Unfortunate miss there. We're probably going to see an incoming um, tidal slam. Yeah, just about to say that. Which does mess up our route, but this is a fairly movable set of people, especially with um, this skill. We can move forward quite easily. In fact, I might even want to take off the um, cycle of the corpse in favor of Bird of Prey. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be the best player for us. But yeah, the, the ability to eat through this guy's prot is so nice. Okay, let's move everyone around again. It's actually surprising that you're getting to go first. They both have nine speed, so I suppose it makes sense. I love the fact that Six has back tracker and tracker. It's such a cool little detail for him to have both of those. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep going. Keep on moving. That That's the enemy that sort of puts the most fear in my heart at the moment. So I'm a little worried when we come across those. But we handled that one incredibly well. I think this current build of doing... Tons of blight damage is really good. That was a little unfortunate there. Um, <clears throat> just go for the damage on you. Set up that blight. Of course, we know that blight is just super effective here. Uh, we're going to set it up on you as well. Even crit for extra rounds as well. That's great. Um, hmm. We're going to take a lot of bleed here, I think. And stress is gonna stress is gonna be something that we can't handle too well. But if if, if need be, we can switch over our skills on Renault and uh, have him stress heal a little bit. Even though his trinket does uh, give a negative to that. Hey, you can see the damage we're doing right now. It's really good, really nice. Ow. Okay, that's not too problematic because Holy Lands can move us forward here. And whenever we get caught in this position here, we just go for the double feral cuts. So seven HP. We do another feral cuts here. Then you'll definitely die. That's a really good way of building up a good amount of damage and a good amount of blight there. We essentially slap them for the damage that the feral cuts do and a guaranteed four bleed over two. Uh, four blight over two, which I think works out really well. Um, we're going to go for the kill on you. I think that's more important. And we'll start doing a little bit of healing here because everyone... While, while no one's weak, everyone's losing a little bit of HP. So let's... Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> How much bonus do you have? Only plus three and we heal for 14. That's insane. And there's there's Clint showing his true power. Wow. Very nice. Uh, we have this here as well. That's actually kind of decent. Might not end up keeping it, but that's, that's decent. Probably, if anything, we'll throw away this blood. Yeah, let's throw away the blood. We'll take the busts here. We're, we're most likely... Very, very nice to see that. Uh, we're most likely going to get a lot and a lot of um, of scouting here with the plus 25% chance. 25 is, is huge. I don't know if there's a pet for each region that we can find, but I'm kind of interested. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the quest thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the water's now lit. Nice one. So what we're going to do is going to make our way back around to the secret room because neither of these are uh, quest locations, as you can see here. So we don't have to go do that. Um, neither of them are quest locations either. That's fine. We know we don't have combat here. I think we can remove disease, by the way, with, um, yeah, there you go. Remove disease and then 50% chance to remove it from companions. So if we do have any companions that have any diseases, which I don't think we do right now. No, we don't. Uh, we could have removed them, but we might end up getting a few throughout this. So we kind of want to save, um, another mariner, another misfortune. It's the first time I've ever done it. But I forgot shovels. I've never done that before. And it was it was something I was proud of. Because I know it's something that happens often in this game. But we finally forgot shovels. My god. That's... That's... It's bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's bad. It's not terrible. But it is bad. That's uh, not really something I'm too happy about. 
Okay, you got a debuff there. Do you know what? We're going to get rid of that. Uh, right. Um, I think here we just stack up that Blight on one of the front targets here. Nice. Even a crit there as well. And that bleeds him too. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to be able to hit those targets in the back very easily. Um, I'm going to go for the Repurst. Heals us up. Activates Repurst. Could bleed targets, possibly. Finish you off. You're pretty much dead to this, aren't you? Yeah, I think you are. This is going to hurt a lot, but we do get that Repurst damage, which is good while someone's still... still I can't believe we forgot shovels. It's... That's a sad... That's a very sad thing to think. I thought you were going to die to that. Unfortunately not. This is pretty bad. We, As you can see, everyone's taking a pretty significant amount of damage here. So we're hoping for big heals here. Um... Mm. You're going to die and we can't hit anyone else, so we just go for a heal here. There's there's no point not healing here. Blanket fire is just going to get you bled even more. Not great amounts, though. We probably want to stall this combat a little bit, but not too much. Nice hits. Um, <clears throat> Let's get that going. These things can indeed uh, heal us up, so... So good job to get that going. Right, we definitely need some big heals coming in here. An additional 12 heals per round. Wow. Okay, that stunned him as well, so that's that's fantastic. That is fantastic. And he's like, okay, this is good. 19 heals. This just shows the true power here. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to try and stall this for as long as possible. We get an Aegis block there as well, so that helps us out. Now you're not stunned. Um, nice crit heal there. That saves us a turn, essentially. That saves us a turn. While he's bleeding, he can't call for reinforcements, so this is like our best chance here to, to heal everyone up to full. Aha. I forgot that his Aegis block meant uh, we've repursed there. So we didn't quite get the healing we wanted, honestly. But well, that's fine. Um, hmm, let's look at our inventory really quickly. I probably want to make my way as far as possible um, and get the quest out of the way before I go back to our secret door here. But this is this has been interesting. Um, we can't go up this way. So let's go this way first then, shall we? Honestly, we can probably eat a little bit to heal up as well. But we don't need this much food. What we got here? Trap disarm, 100, 90, 70, 100. These two are going to have a pretty good job of this. Stress is getting a little high, but that's mainly because we had to dig our way through that wall with our bare hands. I can't believe I did that. I still can't believe it. It's the first time. And we're on week 93 now. Battle, battle. Okay, so we'll go this way, check this one out, and we'll make our way back. Make our way back through these cursed halls. This might be one that I uh, that I full clear, if possible, because, I don't know, I think we can get a good amount out of this. As long as stress levels don't get too high. Okay, this could be a pretty difficult bit of combat here, and it's, it's likely we'll take on quite a lot of stress too, especially these guys having such high... Um, such high speed and the ability to stealth luckily that missed then so we didn't take on too much but as you can see we're already on a pretty good amount there Impressive. i love this combo that's an insane amount of uh stat of damage over time effects on you nice wait what it targeted the wrong person that's a, that's that i mean that's fine but i wasn't expecting that at all um Hmm. Let's do that again. Heals us up and it buffs us. It buffs us with the um, infusion. <clears throat> I think we'll do that as well. Get the corpse bloom going. Stunned. Nice. Okay, the stress waves are a problem, but luckily we're, we're, get, we're getting very lucky in dodging them. Another dodge? Yes! This is exactly what we needed. Nice hit. 
Nice. And another body produces yet another one of these things. We can focus on healing a little bit here. Pull one of these forward. That'll help out a lot. <clears throat> Thorn snap there. Gonna bleed you. I love that. I'm pretty sure Thorn Snap as well completely ignores bleed resist. I'm, I'm pretty sure it just bleeds them, no matter what. So that's really nice. Nice. You are so dead. And you are dead as well. Okay, that went nicely. Okay, with him being entangled, we can probably heal up a little bit extra. Another entangle. To keep him stunned for even longer. Um, you're missing 10 HP, 10 HP. We'll do it on you. Is a in the fever and we'll just finish you off. I tend not to use the corpse buds too much, but it's really quite good. There's our last one. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely take a, take a waddle around and see what we can find in the rest of this place. Don't do it. Okay. There's still booty inside. Ah, oh, you klepto. I forgot that he did that. Ow. Okay, definitely want to get rid of that. That's okay, though. As long as stress levels don't get insanely high, I think we can keep pushing forward here. And do all the battles we can come across. Also, as long as food doesn't get too low as well. I should take a little look at our camping abilities on other characters and see... We do have Prevent Scouting there, although that's going to add some additional stress. Um, prevent Nighttime Ambush there as well. Let's let's camp up here then, shall we? Uh, we'll probably Actually, we'll try and do one more. How many more combat rooms do we have? We don't have that many more combat rooms. Let's, um, let's camp it up over here, shall we? The promise of safety. Let's go through to here and camp here. Okay. Nice. Probably gonna take a bit, take on a bit of stress here, but I'm hoping we can get some quick kills. We're getting very lucky with dodges on stress. That's a big crit. That's a very big crit. Um, I think we go for that. Unfortunately, no kill there, but we do get the um, four of a two, four of a two. Again, no kill there either. Um, we only heal for eight as a base, so. <clears throat> little risky. <clears throat> nice insta-kill there. A faint hope blossoms. Damn, and then a miss. Unfortunate, but we've only got the stress dealers left. I gotta say, if we can get dodges... I, I, in fact, I think this guy can't deal stress in position one, so... That might be okay. Taking on another 12 there. Really, you're leaving with one HP. Um... Good thing is, this guy pretty much always heals for the same amount. Damn, that's, that was not how I intended that to go. Yeah, luckily this guy can only ceremonial cut now. Definitely in a problematic position for stress. The good thing is, like I said, we can leave at any time, so... That helps as well. Nice, you're pretty much up to full now. Unfortunately, you can't do anything from here. And there you go. Ho, ho. A nice crit to finish it as well. Uh, we're probably going to try and get rid of Klepto here. Um, I think a lot of these are pretty bad. So, yeah. Both of them are pretty bad. So, if we can get rid of either one of them too, that'd be really nice. Hopefully, it gets rid of Klepto though. Okay. That one was also a good one to get rid of. Twenty uh, Plus 20 stress at, uh, above um, 75 light, which is obviously not great for... Uh, Someone that gains so many bonuses from being above that light. May we find victory. Okay. I think now we have the uh, ability to go and get this secret room. I think we should camp in the in the starting area room when we get there, because that'll use up our camp wood uh, and open up another space in our inventory, which I think is going to be useful. Right. You need the stress relief more than anyone else right now. Right, let's keep pushing forward. Got there. Nice pack of goodies. We will be throwing a few of these bits away, but that's okay. Um, right. Let's camp it up. A spark without kindling. Um, yeah, we need the stress relief, so I'm okay with doing that. 
So we produce a totem here. Uh, minus 30 stress versus Eldritch. Kind of interesting. Don't really need that. Uh, right. What else can we go for here? Minus stress. Extra scouting chance. We've already seen our secret room, so that's fine. I think we go with party stress reduction. And then go with that there. And that's 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 pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, amount of stress removed. As the light gains purchase, there you go. Grab that buff. And we can jump in here and see what we get in our secret room. Hopefully we get ahead. But even if we just get money, I'm still very happy. Wait, make sure you do it. I don't want Klepto stealing it. I don't know if it actually matters, but... Hey, oh my god. We finally got it. After all this time... We finally got the healing head. God damn, it's been a long wait. My god. Normally, that's one of the first ones I end up getting. And unfortunately, this time, it, it really wasn't. <laughs> we have waited a long time for that. That's going to be a mainstay of our builds now, pretty much. Uh, we're going to be using that head uh, a lot because it's very, very strong. Um, that mixed with the syringe, it'll be 30% extra stress, which is a little... A little unsettling, but it will be a bonus. Um, 35, 65% healing. And that goes for literally any healer. Any healer we want, we can straight up add 60% onto, which is insane. Uh, no one needs a heal right now, do they? So that's not, not worth doing. Right, let's jump in here. Pretty basic combat here with the armor piercing. This guy should go down relatively quickly. I'm going to take out the jellyfish first if we can. For that exact reason. And you got a crit, so it's a guaranteed stun. Darn. <laughs> I was really trying to avoid exactly that happening, but we didn't quite get there. That's okay. Spearhead doesn't help, doesn't hurt us that much. Stress wave. Is going to, but we've li literally just reduced a bunch of stress, so it's not as worrisome. That armor piercing, even at 25%, you can see is doing a great job. 14 damage on a hit to one of them guys for 50% is, is really nice. Really nice indeed. Um, we're just going to keep on swiping at this guy. Unfortunately, we've got a miss there. Um, we might be able to use corpse. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna create the uh, the corpse flower. It just, it does such a good job of um, sort of maintaining the enemies. And the thing is, once one of them's up there, every next body that's created creates another flower for us. So, uh, works out really well. I opted for killing this guy instead of going for the stress dealer there. I think that's a good decision. Okay, that's a pretty bad hit. But we do have plus additional six healing. So, we heal ourselves for one and we should be fine. As long as we don't take an additional hit. We did take that. That's fine. As long as we don't take an additional hit on... Um, on uh, Joseph here. I think it should be fine. Right. Um, you can go. Oh, really? The misses are. The misses that, we, that we're getting at the minute are, are coming at just completely the wrong time, which is unfortunate. And Tangle here definitely helps. And while being guarded, doesn't. Like, these plants ignore guard as well, which is really nice. We need. Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to say we're going to heal ourselves for a little bit. Nope. We're going to heal ourselves for a crit, a crit of 28. My god. Oh, I hit the plant there for some reason. I don't know why. But it does fade away and add blight onto every enemy on the field. I didn't mean to hit the plant there, but that is something you can do with them. Okay, we're getting a heal here. Um... Nice. You are taking enough damage to kill you. Unfortunately, we can't target anyone else with uh, Renault there. Nice. Heal for 10. Yeah, honestly, Joseph is such a stable healer. He's one of my favorite classes. He did just get swiped for a lot of damage, though, so I'm going to stall out this combat a little bit. Does he have, like, a chance to random target or something? Because he is not targeting things that I choose at all. He must have, like, a chance... Yeah, there you go. I gotta say, he's been doing that a lot. <laughs> a lot and a lot. Um, that won't kill you. Although that bl that blight will. Hmm. <sighs> Please don't crit. Okay, thank God. Him missing there makes this feel a lot more worthwhile. A lot more worthwhile. Stab. 
Nice. Um, let's get rid of that. Go with that. Insidious killer. Nice. Um, do we take some deeds? Yeah, we'll take it over that. I'm not going to use that trinket anytime soon. Although it is an, e an interesting trinket. Right, we've got a few more rooms to go here that I'm very much willing to go for. Um, yeah, let's do that. It does give a bit of stress relief as well. It says healing, but it was stress relief. That's unfortunate, because we could have used that for uh, other things. Other characters. Unfortunately, we can't camp again here. This was a, a medium extra exploration, so just one stint of camping, unfortunately. Good thing is, the fact that we didn't bring shovels is a shame, but we don't have to take any obstacles. Like, if, if we get to this one, it requires an obstacle to get through. We can just leave. We don't have to carry on. Um, the one, my, my one concern right now is we have very, very low food. One more food check and we're out here. And we got some blood suckers for the first time in a while, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. The thirst here coming in. We're going to probably take some Crimson Curse and, of course, take some, um, beautiful, beautiful, uh, stress. Okay, they're really wanting to trigger him. That's okay. He can he can deal with it. Nice kill. Okay, hopefully we can get a corpse blossom on there. A little bit of blight coming in. Oh, no, we resisted. Nice one. Well done, Clint. Ah, oh, like I said, the misses at the moment are just coming in at exactly the wrong time. There it is. Clint is yet another to take on the curse. Was not expecting that, but he he has taken it. Okay, that's good. Okay, we can bring the uh, corpse flower back in. And I think we just go for a heal. I just like the fact that uh, Joseph has such such a good ability to, to, to be in there in the combat as well as heal. And even being, being involved in the combat helps his healing ability. It's really nice. Fortunately, right now, we're just doing enough damage to not quite kill things, which is unfortunate. And there's yet another one, yet another curse coming in. I was expecting it, but Sixth has the curse. Let's see, is anyone else going to end up getting it? Thing is, these guys are healing just enough to be a pain in the ass right now. Let's do that. Okay, one of them did blight. Okay, that was good. That killed you. This should kill you now. Okay, Renault didn't grab the curse. Good. There you go. Both of these should die now. Oh, that was kind of stressful, honestly. That was kind of stressful. Grabbing two new people with the curse here. On just a single battle. It's how it is sometimes. It does mean that we're probably going to have to go and fight the next um, Crimson Court boss relatively soon. Would be a good idea. We'll stop this being such a problem. Okay, we have our last battle here, then two curios, and we're good to go. Okay, the surprise here helps out a bunch. Um... These guys have pretty low blight resist. This guy's the lowest. Let's just pile on on him. We can probably kill these two front guys very easily, so I'm not actually that worried about them. Bit of bite, but bit of blight, bit of bleed. I can't even say it. Bit of blight, bit of bleed. There you go. You're dead. <laughs> you are so dead. That was awesome. Coral smash here. Luckily, we resisted the move. These guys can stun us quite easily, though, so we've got to be careful. That's going to move us, I reckon. Oh, no, we resisted again. Awesome. These guys are stuck. They're planted their feet. This is a very, very, very good team. It's fun, and it's working out really nicely. I always, I always appreciate a team that has some really interesting synergy that you don't expect. They, they, they just work together in a way that you wasn't really planning for, but ends up being really fun. And this this group has exactly that. While Clint doesn't exactly have entire synergy, it's still very helpful. Oh, that was so nice. Should have done that on people that needed it, but still. 
Do you want to stop taking damage, dude? Packs laden with loot. Right. Last one. Lies. Okay, good, good. We'll be returning to town. That was actually a pretty good little adventure there. A little bit longer than a normal uh, medium one, but we got something going on. We got an achievement called Encouragement here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that does. Okay, we got two people to level five. I'm guessing this is getting Renault to level five. Um, chance to become blighted. We definitely want to get rid of that. That was a good team comp, though. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, okay, uh, so let's just... Quickly remove our trinkets, and Renault, you're gonna go and uh, remove that disease, I think. I wanna get rid of that on you. Uh, let's check our trinkets available here, see if there's anything good. We have Acolyte the Sun with uh, bonus damage, speed, and accuracy. That's pretty good. Um, Manifest of Fasting. Plus. Wow. That's risky, but insanely good. Um. Sigil of Diversion plus... Wait, what? Plus 35 guard duration applied. Plus 10% damage when guarding. How, what? Could someone explain to me how that's meant to work? You get bonus guard duration damage and prop, but you can't guard people because guard skills are disabled? Is that... Is that when you force by guarding? Is that the way that works? So if you have someone on your team with force by guarding, you put this on the other person that you're forcing to guard you. I guess that's the way that works, right? Thinking of that correctly. Um, kind of interesting, I guess. Also, that's, that's pretty good. Medic's full plate for the Arbalist. Interesting stuff there. Let's see if we've got any new recruits coming in. Um, we do have a Sunlight Warrior at level 4 here, but I think our Sunlight Warrior is already level 4 anyways. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Uh, so we'll bring him on as Oracle. Oracle there. Um, make sure he's got the right skin on, not full red. There you go. And send you off on your way. Okay, decent. Um, ooh, and we've got our arsonist back as well. I'm going to bring him on board, even though he's... Oh, actually, do I want to bring on a level 1? We need our arsonist back, but that's a level 1. I'm not going to bring on a level 1. If he was level 2, I would have done, but... Gonna take. It's going to be too much of a pain to level him up. Either way, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was definitely a good one. We made some good progress here uh, and played with a team that was pretty fun and got to use Renault again, so I'm pretty happy with the progress we made there. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.